Ask Reddit. Pet owners of Reddit, what is the biggest flex your pet attempted? My dog hardly ever barks and is very well behaved. When we go for walks, every dog we walk past in my neighborhood barks ferociously at him. He pees in their yards. Only in their yards. One time my bad was really mad about bedtime. She flew to the curtain, peeped loudly until I watched, then pooped on the curtain while looking straight at me. She was poop trained and definitely knew what she was doing. I'm always startled by how freaking smart birds are. A friend of mine has an African grey, has owned her for 20 years or so. The friend got married about 7 years ago and the bird is well aware that the husband is the new guy. Half the time, when he tells it to do something, like be quiet, the response he gets is a very salty I'm not your bird. Then yells Diane because the husband has no street cred at all. Okay, so this is a little gross, just FYI. My golden retriever brought back a whole day leg once. A whole leg. From hoof to hip. Saw him walking up from the field and thought he had a big stick, until I saw the pink dangly bits. Absolutely no idea where he got it. I search our entire 12 acre property and the adjoining neighbor's 20 acres. Didn't find anything. He was so proud of it too. Didn't try to eat it or anything. Just proudly brought it back to show me like it was his new special stick and I would throw it for him. My mom was horrified. The best part was the dog's name was Buck. One of my dogs used the other dog as a stepping stool to climb up on the couch. Straight up walked up the one laying next to the couch to get up there. Just blatant disrespect. Another one, my friend, and, at the time roommates, dog got out and ran into the highway. Got hit by a car going 50, 55 miles per hour. The driver took him to the vet. We got the call and go and get him to find out that he had an itty scratch on his knee. And that's about it. He literally took a hit by a car, was sent flying, and walked away from it with no injuries. Roadsy and Ridgebacks are tough as hell. My dog very frequently will steal the tissue slash napkin slash paper that someone is holding. Run off with it, begin shredding it. The second they get up to take back their item and yell at him, he loops back around and steals your food. He has tricked my husband out of full slices of pizza on multiple occasions. Every time I'm cleaning up dog poop my dog will squat down right next to me and drop a giant steaming load of sheet. I bought my 10 pound dogs this gigantic plush bed to put on my side of the bed because I'm tired of sleeping with them. Figured I'd have to baby gate them there for the first few nights but MBD. The first night it went okay, a little whining, quickly settled down and went to sleep. The second night, my girl dog, who I've had since she was a puppy, decided she was not going to stand for this inhumane mistreatment and literally stood on her back feet and screamed. I've never heard a dog make the ducking noise this band she was making. I thought she was dying. I moved the baby gate to get to her and she stopped screaming and hopped up on my bed and curled up like she usually does like nothing was ever wrong. I have a pot-bellied pig named Luo. I was outside on my patio working on a craft project while I let him run around the yard. He kept coming up and bumping against the table to see if I had a treat or would pet him and messing me up, so I put a spray bottle of water next to me. He knows it and doesn't like getting sprayed, so will stay away and exercise instead of bothering me. I went inside for a minute, came back out, and the spray bottle was way on the other side of the yard and Luo had climbed into my seat and was standing there happily wagging his little pigtail. I have a blue healer. I was moving to Germany and selling things on let go. She did not like the idea of people taking our stuff. So she started getting aggressive. So when I saw it starting to happen, when the next customer arrived, she got put in a bedroom. The next time a customer arrived, she grabbed a stuffed animal and put it in her mouth. As if to say I will not act like I will bite someone and carried the animal around in her mouth the entire time the people were there. Kids petted her, everyone thought she was so cute, etc. For the next two weeks as I sold stuff, when people came over, she had a stuffed animal in her mouth. Healers are so smart it's kinda scary. This is definitely my fault, because I've encouraged it, but it's still funny. 
Every day I come home from work and give my two kids a hug or a pat on the head or some show of affection. The dog will whine and follow me around the house until I drop to both knees on the floor and give him a hug. I had a foster dog once and while we weren't home she somehow scooting her crate all the way into the living room and managed to stick her entire head through the bars to chew through one of the important cords on our TV. So we were left without sound for like 2 months. You don't watch TV from now on, you watch me. You understand human. Look at me, I'm the TV now. My sand boa, who was at the time thinner than my pinky finger, wrapped himself around my wrist the tightest he could and attempted to eat me. I pulled him off, pat his head, and put him back in his enclosure. Nice try, bud. I had thesis 3 fiddler crabs in a 20 gallon tank. One boy and two girls. After 3 happy months together I was watching them hang out and the boy grabs one of the girls and rips her arm off. He then grabs her by the other arm and picks her up then smashes her against the ground repeatedly till I caught him with the net. She died and the other girl lived in constant fear until he himself died of natural causes. I have a bell hanging on my front door that my dogs ring when I need to take them out. My husky started ringing it and when I got dressed and put my shoes on. She would go lay in my spot on the bed and not go out. Once I called her bluff and didn't get up from the bed. So she sheet on the floor. Absolute power move. Crazy related story. I had two dogs, one Newfoundland and one husky. The Newfie was chewing on a bone and the husky was looking at it like she really wanted it. She walked over to the door and rang the bell to get let out. So I stand up to let her out. The Newfie realized we are going outside. So he leaves the bone on the floor and goes to the door. Husky then leaves the door and lays down and starts chewing the bone. I'm at my computer desk playing Civilization. I had only adopted my cat a few months before this and he's finally getting to like me. Or at least he likes to watch me do stuff. The desk is one of those L-shaped ones. I have my monitor where your monitor goes and I had a glass of water, TV remote and other stuff on the perpendicular part of the desk. The cat evidently thought you like games. I'll show you some games and he methodically and calmly pushed every object off the desk with his paw. Slowly. Like he'd sit upright beside the remote and just push it off. Then walk over to a coaster, sit upright beside it, and push it off. I grabbed the glass of water before he could shove that off, but he considered it a moral victory anyway. He flopped down on his side and stared at me like what you gon' do. We had a kitty with extra toes. He would pick things up to leave in my shoes as gifts. Usually hair ties, a toy mouse, or sometimes paper. At a party, he picked up a $20 bill out of a friend's pocket sitting on the floor. Then in front of everyone walked over and stuck it in my shoe across the room. He was a good kitty. No one would have ever believed me if they didn't see it happen. It was hilarious. My family were talking about how the cat stopped bringing mice in the house next day he brought a rat in. My rabbit when I went out of town for a weekend. I lined up someone to stay with her. I was just heading back to my house when I got the call to get home now because the rabbit was acting weird, listless, turning down treats, all things that point to the beginnings of GI stasis which is bad. I get home and sit with her for about 20 minutes. Yep, she's showing signs. Get her to the emergency vet. $300 for the vet to tell me her diagnosis. Drama queen. The rabbit was just upset that I wasn't home. Dog came in me and so's room while we were partaking in activities and watched for a second then left one minute later he came back in with his favorite stuffed animal toy and started humping it vigorously right there. Damn dog tried to show me up. Took my Australian shepherd on a weekend trip with a new boyfriend. She was forced to sleep on the floor for the weekend. The night I got home she waited for me to get into bed, jumped onto the bed, looked me dead in the face, and peed on me. Message received, loud and clear on that one. 